Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. This is the Bright Sun Podcast, your host David Pierre, and today I want to talk about music critique. Music critiquing. What about it? About the best I think maybe the maybe the best approach at it because in my experience of it, and that's me consuming it, not that like I have my own channel or anything like that of really critiquing music. But watching music critics even them being a thing and even having my own opinion on songs and other people having their own opinion on songs. At some point, seeing the drama or even seeing, you know, the communication or the differences that it has. One thing that I realized, I was like, okay, for example, if you're a music critic, right? You're critiquing the song. Of course, it's your opinion. You know, and you leave it at that. You don't say, oh, it's fact. You just leave it at your opinion. And the interesting thing with that, too, is, is that it's a song. You know, it's not a... It, I guess it's one thing to critique a movie. Yeah, maybe like one thing to... I don't know. Or maybe I'm wrong. You let me know. I won't, I won't. I won't use the movie example. Maybe I'll put it more at a like a, like a product. For example, you could take a product. It's plain, simple, straight to it, right? Let's say you're trying water. Okay, this water, you know, tastes okay. Tastes like water. The bottle is user friendly and. The thing, the labels have enough information. You know, something like that. That's cool for a song. And even then, that has its own levels to it. Because, excuse me, when it comes to songs, there are different kinds at different stages. Like, there are songs that are literally just made to get numbers. Like, they're, you know, you know when you hear a song and you know that that's, this song is not truly as it meant for anything much of substance. It's just a song that was made by somebody who rapped or sing or sung it. And then, but once you get into the actual songs that are more catered towards art or or people more intentionally craft a song using their artistry and imagination, creativity and whatnot, then when you not only are you dealing with a different type of song, but then it seems like you also will be dealing with a different type of judgment for it too, because those two songs aren't the same by any means. And if if you do critique it, it's such a I'm not I'm not sure if you say it's it seems like as if like it's not even worth doing or it's redundant or like what's the point cuz let's say you make a song and you intentionally create it using your imagination your imagination your creativity experience inspiration whatever right if somebody says oh I didn't like that 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 doesn't really matter cuz you made it this type of way so by law by natural nature law you making something so specific or so niche or so experimental or so just drawn from you and whatever parts that you use to make it that if somebody doesn't like it well like that, like that's going to happen cuz of course why why would everybody just like how everybody's not going to like you, not everyone's going to like this song that you made. So at that point, them saying that, there's one thing where it's like, hey, I don't like you. I don't like the way that you use the instrument on this song. You know, that's more insightful. You can be like, okay, thank you for the feedback. Just like how somebody could say, hey, I didn't like your attitude when you were talking to that person. It made it seem like as if you disliked them. You know, though, in those cases, even though that's somebody's opinion, those are things that you can take and learn from 
or you know give yourself a, a you know a double check of like okay am i cool what did i did i mean to do that or you know you know just assuring yourself of your action that they maybe talked about or that they critiqued and in that way it's more of like okay like you know it can help but even then it could also be left as easily at okay and at that point it's just simply an opinion you know it's simply that it doesn't even like if you made a song if somebody even if they made like a however many minute video breaking it down where they they really did give you a thoughtful critique wouldn't it still be left at you being like, well, you know, I made it this way anyways. Like, you, once you make it the way you want it to be made, it doesn't, you, would you really worry about somebody not liking it being made that a different way or that way? If somebody didn't like the way that you make that and you wanted to make that way, this is okay, you know? So seeing that from music critics is very interesting because it's something that is like, I'm not saying that, that job or that hobby or whatever, or that or doing it is redundant or useless or of no value. I'm not saying that. The thing that I'm saying is, is it just really left that somebody's opinion then? I guess some people will like to hear maybe it is maybe that's just really all it is you want to you just want to hear somebody's opinion about something and maybe you trust their opinion and that's why you're even paying attention to them yeah maybe 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 that's actually just it because once you get into anything else what can you really say besides that's what you think or you know, the, oh, well, that's what I meant to do. You know? Yeah, those things really can disrupt the... Or even then, the critiquing can also be shallow, too. Or judge, judgment and feedback in themselves can be shallow. Like, if somebody says, I don't like mushrooms, and you're like, why don't you like mushrooms? And then they say... Oh, this one time I was at a restaurant and I had mushroom in this freaking pasta and I didn't like the way it tasted. And it's like, okay, that's a valid experience, though that's such a that is such a circumstance that you you completely writing off mushrooms from that one experience isn't like it's valid of your reasoning why. But for you to write off mushrooms for that one circumstantial experience doesn't really make sense. Or like it makes sense, but it's not enough evidence in a way, or it's not enough. It's one thing if you had mushroom five times different ways, or if you've eaten raw mushroom, or you know, you gotta get more specific when you say things like that, because when you don't, it makes less sense. Even if it's more even if it's yeah, it just makes less sense because it's not as easy to understand or even if it's not that easy to understand, if it's not, if that's not the problem, then it's, oh, that's it? Really? Like, that's like that's it? You know, especially with things like circumstance and all these different things that can even affect somebody's judgment come into play, then it's like, are you sure you want to have such a strong judgment about this thing that you don't have solid or strong evidence or experience to really feel or think that way about it. And once again, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but I guess I just went on a little side note about judgment in general and mushrooms. That's cool. But yeah, let me know what you think about music critiquing, music critics. Like, Is that something that Y'all listen to, y'all like. Do you think that that even 
should be a thing? Do you critique music yourself? Or when it comes to judgment of music, like, what about that? How do, how should one more healthily, health, healthily, how should one best go about judgment of music? You have a good night, good afternoon, good morning. This is Dave Pierre, the Bright Sun, the Bright Sun Podcast. We're out. Take care now, all right?